What was the war of the last alliance? Who fought in it? And what was the outcome? The war of the last alliance referred to the war at the end of the second age against the dark lord Sauron in response to him wagering war against the free peoples of Middle-earth. The War of the Last Alliance lasted for 12 years, from the year 3429 until the year 3441 of the Second Age. The army of elves, led by the High King of the Noldor, Gil-galad, and the army of the Woodland Realm, under King Orifer, met with King Elendil's army. This army combined was the biggest army that had ever been assembled in Middle-earth since the War of Wrath. The Last Alliance was also the greatest military alliance involving all the free peoples of the world, uniting under one banner. It was also the only large-scale war that was fought until the days of the War of the Ring. After the war, the elves never even managed to bring together such a great and mighty army again. During the fourth, was the king of Durin's folk during the War of the Last Alliance. He sent a mighty army of dwarves of Khazad-dûm to fight alongside the elves and men of the Last Alliance. It is said that few dwarves fought on either side, but it is also noted that the Longbeards fought alongside the elves and the men of the Last Alliance. As Elendil and Gil-galad had taken the initiative, they had the possibility to prepare for the Battle of Dagorlad. The kings spent two full years gathering their forces. The forces of Elendil, together with Isildur, met with Gilgalad's army at the Watchtower of Amonsul, later known as Weathertop. And together, they led their armies to Rivendell. Here, they were joined by Lord Elrond and his company of elves. While in Rivendell, they spent another three years making plans, forging weapons, and training their armies for the battle that stood in front of them. This is also actually the reason why Rivendell is known as the Great Forge. The army of Elendil and Gilgalad, joined with Elrond's force of elves, journeyed south along the river Anduin. Along the way, they gathered elves led by Orofer, the king of Greenwood, and Amdir, the king of Lorien. They were eventually joined by the army of Numenorians from Gondor, led by Isildur's brother Anarion. An army of dwarves from Khazad-dûm had also joined them. Without the Last Alliance knowing about this, Sauron had sent forth an army. An army to destroy the Endwives that lived in Fangorn Forest. Here a battle took place. And it is also believed that after this battle, the Endwives were completely wiped out. The most decisive battle took place right before Mordor, on the plains of Dagorlad. This is also where the name the Battle of Dagorlad comes from. It was on these plains that the Last Alliance destroyed Sauron's main force. Even though this was a big victory for the Last Alliance, many had died. King Amdir of Lorien and King Orifer of Greenwood had also died in the battle. As they charged at the enemy prematurely, due to their annoyance at following the command of Gilgalad, a great host of sylvan elves were also slain, alongside King Orifer, along with many other elves and men. Even though Orifer's army fell in front of the Black Gate of Mordor, Amdir's army, on the other hand, was driven far back to the Dead Marshes, where they were all slain. The bodies of these elves are the ones that Frodo, Sam and Gollum pass on their way to Mordor. After the Battle of Dagorlad, the Black Gate was sacked by the army of men and elves. The army then followed Elendil and Gilgalad further into Mordor, as the siege of Barad-dûr began. This siege lasted for seven years, during which Anarion, the son of Elendil and brother to Isildur, was killed by a catapult shooting rocks from the top of Barad-dûr. It is said that Anarion and his army made it all the way to the gates of Barad-dûr, Without the help from any other army, when Anarion fell, his army joined with the army of Elendil. It is said that not only elves and men fought in the War of the Last Alliance, but even birds and beasts and all living races came to battle fighting on both sides. All were found on either side, except for the elves that solely fought under Gilgalad's command. The War of the Last Alliance ended when Sauron himself came forth. He then fought Gilgalad and Elendil in combat. Although both Gilgalad and Elendil fell, they managed to defeat Sauron and bring him down. 
In the same hour, Isildur cut the One Ring from Sauron's hand, dispersing his spirit. After the defeat of Sauron and the end of the War of the Last Alliance, the Second Age came to a close. And a third age had begun. The line of High Kings of Noldor had ended at the death of Gilgalad, and the titles of King of Linden and High King of the Elves had ceased to exist, as no one had the authority to claim these titles. The High Kingship of the Dúnedain passed to Isildur after the death of Elendil at the hands of Sauron. Thranduil, son of Orofar, became King of Greenwood, and Amroth, son of Amdir, became King of Lothlorien after their father's death in battle. Three years after the war ended, Isildur was killed at the Gladden Fields, and the One Ring was lost for two and a half thousand years, until it was found.